Good morning, YouTube. I am in Annapolis, Maryland. And uh, we drove 16 hours yesterday, fighting traffic, uh, to get a truckload here to my buddy Rick's place. And we're gonna unload some furniture and stuff like that. Um, he's tied up for most of the day. I'm gonna unload some of the furniture. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, yeah, so. He knows I love his boat, but he doesn't realize how much I love his boat. Look at this boat. Oh. It's a Halberd Rousey 44 center cockpit. Love that thing. Anyway, gonna unload some furniture and then go explore, uh, explore downtown Annapolis because it's such a cool town. And I'm gonna bring it with me and we'll go check it out. So let's do it. This is the main purpose why I'm here, to help unload the stuff. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of that and then uh, pick a vehicle to get into downtown and get some breakfast. Uh, well, there's going to be a shower in there at some point, but anyway, uh, knock out some of this first. That's enough for the moment. I'm going to shower and go find breakfast. Uh, just have to figure out what I'm going to take into town. Anyway, here we go. showered and time to go explore Annapolis really to get breakfast but let's go I just bashed the crap out of my head on this Reason Mueller cargo bike electric assist. This thing's awesome. That's what I'm taking into town today. Check this out. This thing's pretty fast. I'm only in tour mode. And it zips. Plus you can haul stuff. How great is that? Beautiful sailboats just parked in the side yard. Got a turbo. Look at this town. there which is awesome you can go to town get groceries carry little kids dogs up front Psh. hope I'm getting this focus thing figured out uh, this is in downtown Annapolis ego alley they call it because there's a uh, 
There's a place that runs right up the center of town where boats can come up and they have to turn around and not look like idiots. And it's a place to show off your ego. And let's be honest, that's that's a lot about what, what these big boats are about. Uh, anyway, we're going to go now try to find some breakfast. Actually, I need to Google somewhere real quick. But um, look how beautiful this is. <music> Annapolis Waterfront Hotel I actually stayed there because this is where they do the Annapolis Bow Show. The entire thing full of floating docks, boats everywhere, lots of alcohol, really good time. Very quiet right now, especially with COVID and all that crap. Uh, okay, so time for breakfast. I'm in the way. <laughs> Thanks. Did you make that or did you bought that? Uh, bought that. It, it's a buddy of mine's, but yeah, he, he bought it like this. It's called a Risa Mueller. Okay. It's an electric battery assist and cargo bike. Okay, I was okay. I was thinking that the child is really just cargo. Yeah, no, people put their kids in, dogs in, stuff like that for sure. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. the way that guy. Take care. <clears throat> uh huh. I'm way in the way. Anyway. Uh, lighten up people. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and uh, this is a beautiful town. Let's go check out some more. I'm on the way to uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get coffee or food first. Does this feel, this feel sketchy to you? Whoa. Hi, good morning. Oh. Oh. Yes. Uh, brown mustache coffee. Pretty cool place. Alley looks sketchy. Totally cool. Uh, it's now. Time to go get some food. I'm thinking the Iron, uh, Iron, Iron Rooster. That's based on a recommendation from Rick. And there were people there, so it looked like there was some action. Um, I, I love this town. Have I said that already? Look at these houses. I love old architecture and stuff. Like, how cool is that? I wish this place was open. I'd like to go in and explore. Okay, that was an excellent breakfast at Iron Rooster. Shrimp and grits were on point. Fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh man, so good. 
uh, Annapolis National Cemetery. Riding around now, checking out the sights. Seeing what I can see. Lots of unknown soldiers out here. It's a sad thing. Anyway, let's go see what else we can find. pictures doing the thing you know just great okay so had some lunch boathouse boatyard something like that whatever it was awesome uh, shrimp and grits for breakfast those were amazing and uh, Cajun grouper for lunch oh, so good Anyway, I've been doing uh, little piddly things like uh, changing some locks and stuff like that. Now i got to go out and mess with the boat, and in particular the dinghy for it. I uh, left it in the water last time we were here, filled up with water, which we know it would. Uh, i got to empty that out and make sure it's running. Oh man, having a great time in Annapolis. Jeez. So, let's go check out the boat now. There's water in there. Yeah. But look at this gorgeous thing. So pretty. It's way too heavy to get up out of the water under my own power, so I'm going to try to find a bilge of some kind, hopefully a manual. Just pump some water out and then get it out of the water, drain the rest. We'll see. Bucket. Most of it. I'll bucket the rest out and try to balance the boat to uh, get as much as possible out. Then we'll go for a ride. Okay. Let's go for a little cruise. See Annapolis from the water side. Most of the water's out. It's enough. It's weighing down in the back a little. Isn't she pretty? So pretty.
been here several times today from the other side. So we're going to go up and check it out. You know what I love about Annapolis? Any place where like-minded people are gathered, especially when it's something I'm interested in, like sailing, uh, that's just awesome. I mean, that's why people like festivals and events and stuff like that, because it's a whole bunch of like-minded people gathered together. Well, Annapolis is like-minded people all the time. That's a beautiful thing. Everybody loves the water, boats, predominantly sailing. And that's so cool. I mean, what's not to love?